Hello world. Hello Philippines. Shout out to all my friends in the Philippines and all over the world. Especially in 10 ASEAN countries. But before that, before I will uh, tell my story, upon request all my uh, subscribers and my friends, please subscribe, like, share, and click the button so that you will be notified if I will upload new videos. Real is here. Welcome to my first video. This is uh, about my story because you know guys, many of my friends out there uh, told me that I have to, you know, call it face to face like this a video face to face. But uh, it's been uh, five years from now when I uh, roam around, especially in ASEAN countries, I did not uh, uh, make this kind of face-to-face -face video because, to be honest, I'm quite shy. But, well, because of you guys, I'm here. Since 2015, I went to Japan for a couple of weeks, in China, and Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong, Macau, and now 2019, I went through with this 10 ASEAN countries. But uh, before we talk about the 10 ASEAN countries, I would like to name those 10 ASEAN countries as far as I could remember. Um, Thailand, Philippines, Singapore, Myanmar, Malaysia, Cambodia, Vietnam, Indonesia, Laos, and I forgot the one, but it's uh, 10 ASEAN countries. Well, guys, what I am doing right now is about conduct research within the 10 ASEAN countries with the, uh, you know, with culture, education, their best practices, and uh, other related research in the academy. And for that, today, I'm here in Cambodia. Uh, before we move on, going to our quarters here in Cambodia, our friends and our colleagues just dropping by here in this station. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. That the station. And our car is over there. Okay. It's about pickup car. Okay. Um, Isuzu D-Max. Okay. So that's our means of transportation. Uh, doing research here in Tennessee and countries and for that I would like you to I want you to know that uh, there are similarities in terms of best practices in Cambodia and Philippines in Laos and Philippines in Thailand and Philippines and the difference is very little uh, amount of difference in terms of economic stability but when in terms of culture well especially i would like to mention about thailand they are very rich in culture oh by the way before i forgot guys uh, in terms of time philippines Cambodia time is only one hour difference. Philippines is advanced for one hour. For example, now is just simply an example. Now is three o'clock. Philippines it's already four o'clock. Something like that. Same with Thailand. For example, in Thailand, uh, time seven o'clock in the evening. 
in the Philippines, it's already 8 o'clock in the evening. And Thailand, they have a right hand drive in their transportation. All means of transporta uh, transportation. It could be a taxi, it could be a private car, anything. And uh, in Laos also, Laos and Philippines, the same. Philippines, we have uh, left hand drive, all means of transportation. And Laos, uh, they have also left hand drive. Okay? And in terms of communication, they are not really good in English. Uh, Laotian people, they are not good really in English, not, not like Filipinos are very good in English. And um, same in Myanmar and uh, Cambodia. But well, of course, in terms of statistical uh, data for Laos, they are quite good compared to other countries like Thailand. Thailand, uh, I'm not saying that they are not good, but uh, we have to practice more because uh, practice, you know, guys, makes perfect. You know what? You know that. And other thing also, in terms of temples, a lot of temples compare in uh, Cambodia, compare in Myanmar, compare in Laos, compare in Thailand. Thailand is one of the biggest um, and main temples and beautiful uh, tourist spots, uh, beautiful uh, temples that's in Thailand. We have also here in Cambodia also. Okay? Same in Laos. Uh, in Vietnam, uh, quite uh, some in Vietnam. But then in Indonesia, well, they are all types of uh, Buddhist countries. In terms of religion, I will give you an example in Thailand. Uh, there are some Thai people already converted in Catholic. Uh, mostly Christian in Thailand. Uh, they are Catholic and also they are Seventh-day Adventist. But other religion, other types of religion like Baptist, like UCCP, I seldom uh, and I cannot uh, locate their churches. But mostly Catholic and uh, Seventh-day Adventist and the rest Buddhist, okay, because Thai people are Buddhist. And also same in Laos, uh, Laotian people, they have also they are they have also Catholic and also converted into uh, Seventh Day Adventist, and uh, in the Cambodia. And for now, what we're doing right now is just having a relax, then take a coffee, break a coffee because some of our colleagues, foreigners, oh. Um, I have my colleague one who got to take this video. Uh, he is a um, uh, Australian citizen, and also my friends, they are uh, Breton, uh, American citizen, and uh, African. Okay, so uh, over there, 7-Eleven. Okay, 7-Eleven over there. So they buy something for you know to eat. And mine also, I have to drink coffee after this uh, video. So I've done this video because I wanted to know that uh, I'm okay, I'm happy, I'm happy doing this job. Uh, I'm apparently connected with the uh, non-government organization, okay, run by the you know run by the British uh, people, and we're going to do you know some research, and not only for academic, but you know as I have mentioned while ago. We go about the culture, the best practices, the languages, the way they talk, the way they communicate to people. Because nowadays, guys, especially these Tennessean countries, Thailand are very, you know, they call it little uh, understanding in English in terms of communication. But they are very rich in culture. They are very, very nice, uh, you know, have a uh, rich in some. And respect to other people. Okay. 
okay? And one of these example is uh, the, the the way the the uh, when the communicate people before they talk, they have like this. I would like you to portray like this, okay? Like this. So something like that. That's a greetings in the Philippines. Kumusta? Like that. In other countries, greetings. Hello, how are you? In Thailand, sawadika. But they have to form like their hands like this. This is for friendship. This is for teachers. And uh, this one is for like this. This one is for Buddha. Okay? So, I would like you to greet like this, guys. Sawadika. Right? So, in Laos, in Cambodia, almost the same. They have la they have same like that of uh, just choice when they uh, meet people when they, or when they communicate people okay and what else i i have to share something with uh, foods guys foods they are very rich here in cambodia uh, they like also spicy foods but not really unlike in thailand guys you know i love to eat spicy food but not too much I like only little spicy, but in Thailand, guys, their food, if no spicy, no good, no delicious, it's not delicious, they call it no spicy, no good, no alloy, okay, no alloy, something like that, uh, that's uh, their language, and for me, uh, I like to eat only little uh, spicy foods but very nice food uh, some of my colleagues the Briton one the American one they love to eat spicy but for me I have to eat only little okay and uh, what else guys so this video this is my first time no editing because I have no editing tool I have no budget to buy for that and I would like to give merit this uh, video the one who take this the one who took this video okay and as an Australian citizen uh, thank you so much okay his name Raymar okay Raymar family name Burella right so he is a Australian citizen he took this uh, video because you know look at my cell phone guys okay <laughs> this is um, more or less eight years old cell phone sony yeah it's not working anymore about you know take videos just only text or uh, communicating for people so call and text only but not good for videos so i think that's it that's all for today guys and i hope you like it and you know it you know it already where i am i'm good and happy and best regards to our beloved president, Tatay Digong. I salute you for a very job well done. And to all my uh, friends, Filipinos out there, and to all my students also. Thank you for loving me, guys. Thank you for supporting me always. Please don't forget, subscribe, click the button, and, you know, like and share. And hopefully, we will see you again for my next video. Thank you guys. Bye bye.